Hello and welcome to Fuerteventura in the Canary Islands. I'm Michael Mann for Bike Social, and we're here to ride the Yamaha XSR 900. It's the latest in Yamaha's sport heritage range, and in fact, we spend about uh, 150 miles or so around the uh, islands, island roads today, and very smooth tarmac that is too, which is uh, accentuates a lot of the the bike's um, better points. So it's about 113 brake horsepower, 65 foot-pounds of torque, and it's based heavily on the MT-09, the ultra-successful MT-09. And that means it's using the same 850cc uh, three-cylinder inline engine, which is absolutely fabulous. It's so torquey, especially in sort of second, third gear. It's got so much pull, so much acceleration. But not only that, it just cruises around easily. So if you're cruising through a town in sixth gear, it's pulling 40 miles an hour, you've still got plenty of acceleration, there's plenty of throttle control, which is very, very instant, uh, just to get away. There's three engine modes, standard. Uh, the B mode is very soft, and the A mode much more aggressive. Uh, there's no differential between uh, power input, but it's all about the, uh, how, the th how the throttle responds. There's ABS on this model, there's three stage traction control, well, I say three stage, it's off one and two. Um, the traction control between one and two can be adjusted on the road through a button on the left hand side of the handlebar, uh, but if you want to turn it off completely you have to be stationary. Um, the engine modes, there's an engine mode button on the right hand side of the handlebar and they can be changed uh, as long as the throttle is closed. Um, the Bridgestone Battle Axe tyres on the bike are uh, perform fantastically well. Uh, the bike is actually very, very agile. It's slightly taller, well, the seat height is slightly taller than the MT-09. And the redesigned fuel tank is uh, slightly longer, so you sit slightly further back. The foot peg position and the handlebar position are, are pretty much identical. Um, but look, a, a, a cost of £7,849 £7, for the silver version, uh, and there's a sort of a grey blue version as well, and then for an extra £150 for the 60th anniversary. It offers absolutely terrific value. It's a, it's a very capable, very comprehensive bike. Uh, we have been very impressed with the riding today. But you can read the full review at bikesocial.co.uk.